Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group and today is one of those happy days when the brown shirt Santa shows up and brings us toys. We got a package in from ShowMeCables.com which is one of our newest sponsors and these guys are awesome. They sent us all kinds of toys. One of the things that we've really needed, I'll, I'll get into this stuff in a second because that's something we're going to want to talk about, but we have needed these for months and we finally got them. They're really hard to find. We got 50 foot long VGA cables. And there's a million places that sell them on the internet, but they all want a fortune for them. So we looked around and showmecables.com had the best prices we could find. So I called them up and asked them very nicely if they would donate them. And not only did they donate those, but they sent us a t-shirt. Look at that. Got a t-shirt, Mikey. Fabulous t-shirt from showmecables.com. So that goes in props. Put that back in the box. And they sent us candy. Omni, they sent us candy. Any candy? Yeah. So, and the usual rule, whenever anybody sends us candy, um, it goes to the camera guy. Mikey the camera guy, because he'll eat anything. So check this out. Showmecables.com gave us two, four, six, matched 50 foot long VGA cables. Now a VGA cable is a 15 pin D sub cable that it's, it's the, the monitor cable on your computer unless you're using one of those HDMI monitors or a DVI monitor or something like that. But this is the, the classic standard video monitor cable and we've had a very unique need for these cables. Now if you look around you'll find a lot of VGA cables out there. There are huge differences in quality. If you get the crappy ones, they're, they're thinner and they don't have all the shielding they should. Normally this isn't a problem if you're just hooking it up like right from your computer to your monitor. But if it's anything more than like one meter, you're going to have problems because you'll get noise and you'll get futz in your screen. So these are good shielded ones. They're very nice. So thank you to all the guys at showmecables.com. And we're going to install these right after we're done here. So you'll get to see that because this, this, this is big stuff. Now the other stuff they sent us is these, and I'm just going to touch on these because we're going to do a whole bunch of videos on these. These are really neat. These are hacker cables. They just came out with these. Showmecables.com is, as far as I know, the only place that sells these. And what it is, if, uh, come here a minute Mikey, take a look at this. This is a plug you know well. Take a look at that. See that? That is a TRRS plug and it goes to these two receptacles here and one is labeled mic in and one is labeled stereo out. Now we also have this plug and I'll bet, yeah, that fits. Um, these are a pair of TRS plugs with stereo out and mic in. And you can use this. Now this, this is a nifty little plug that we're used to seeing around here. This is the one we use with the camcorders. So, and I want to experiment with this and see if we can use it with the camcorders to break out separate audio and video and, and do something like that because it might just work. But this is designed for use with an iPhone for audio breakout to be able to use Skype and other interesting audio mojo with your iPhone. So these are really cool cables and these are an interesting little thing with lots of hack potential. So we're going to just see what we can do with these with uh, the JVC HM100U cameras and see what other kind of cool stuff we can do because I mean it's, it's neat. It's, it's fun. And here's your little cable knowledge for the day. Um, going to the board. The standard plug like this, the, the TRS plugs, uh, they're also called phono plugs, have a barrel, okay, that goes up to the plug. And then there's a band here that has a little dip in it, usually. And uh, then it goes out like this. Okay, and you've got the end. I'm a really terrible artist, but you get the idea. Okay, now there's always a black band here. And this is usually a quarter inch or an eighth inch or, you know, something like that. This is an eighth inch one. This is like what you use for your headphones. Now, if it's a mono plug, this is always the tip and this is the sleeve. And the black band right here 
is an insulator. So this is one conductor, this is the other, and the two give you the circuit. So you've got tip and sleeve, which is usually positive and negative. Um, if you're working with phones, um, red right ring. So this is on here. If you have a stereo plug, you put a second black band here, and that's your second insulator. And then you've got tip ring sleeve, so red right ring um, for phones. I'm dropping stuff. But that's how it works. And you'll have like positive, positive, and then a shared ground between the two channels. So one of these will be left, one of these will be right, and then one of these will be ground. And left and right, there is some variation on there. There is a standard to it, but you want to check because it isn't always the same. Now this plug, what makes this nifty, is it's got a tip, a ring, and then another insulated band. Let me make sure I've got it. Yeah. So it's got tip, ring, ring, sleeve. So you've got three conductors and then ground. And these can, this doesn't always have to be ground. This can be a fourth conductor. So these two can take and be an audio signal, and these two can be a video signal, or these two could be audio out and these two could be audio in, or this could be stereo out. I mean, there, there's all kinds of weirdness to it. And you really need to probe it out to find out what's what. And we will be probing this cable and find out what conductor goes where. But it's cool. And I, I'm not sure. I got to check with the guys at the, the factory. But I think this is the backwards version of that. I think this might be a TRRS socket. So we'll be checking into that. But for now, we're going to put these back in the box with the cool t-shirt. Thank you, showmecables.com. You guys rock, and we're going to be having lots of hacker fun with them in the future. But for now, it's time to get in the ceiling, Mikey.